everyone. Welcome to this Ho Auto Yoga home practice session. This is a TV special. So I have put together a series of poses which will work the whole of your body all while watching your favourite TV program. So let's get started. We'll start with a shoulder stretch. So just sitting in a comfortable position, cross-legged or legs out in front, taking the right arm across the body, drawing it in with the left forearm, and just staying here for a couple of breaths, feeling that stretch through the outer shoulder, and other side. and releasing and coming into cobbler's pose or a bound angle. So soles of our feet together. And wrapping our hands round our toes, long back, drawing our spine upwards. And then with our breath out, just folding over our feet, perhaps only moving a little way, it doesn't matter, as long as you're feeling that stretch through the inner thigh area. This is a great hip opener. and releasing. We'll come into a half spinal twist. So stretching the legs out long, we're going to take the right foot, bring it over the left leg, toes are pointing forward, wrapping the left arm around the right knee, breath in, long spine, breath out, twisting, looking over our right shoulder, Just staying here for a few breaths. And releasing in other side. Breath in, long back, our shoulders are down. and releasing and now coming into tabletop for a cat cow so this is a great way to relieve lower back tension so we're coming into a neutral spine our hands are under our shoulders our knees are under our hips our tummy is drawn in and then breathing in we're lifting our head dropping our tummy down so it's arching downwards and then breath out, rounding the back, tucking the chin. And we'll do one more round, coming into back into cow. And breath out, rounding the back for cat. And then coming back to a neutral spine, We'll come into a crescent lunge, so stepping the right foot up, up to the hands, just adjusting where the knee is. If you take it further back, you just get a more of a bit more of a stretch through that hip flexor and quadricep area. So breath in, extending, opening through the uh, front body, and you can bring your hands up, interlace them, place them on top of your thigh. Or if you want that extra opening through the front of your body and um, make it more of a balanced pose, you can reach your arms upwards. And releasing, swapping the legs over, bringing the left foot forward.
and releasing and now coming down to the mats for a gentle back bend for sphinx pose so our forearms are flat on the mat our fingertips are around uh, where our, the top of our head would be if it was on the mat and breathing in we're drawing the chest and head up our neck is a natural extension of our spine, not craning upwards. Our shoulders are down. We're feeling that opening through our chest. If you're feeling any compression in the spine, you can just ease out of the pose a little bit by just crawling the hands forward a little bit. And then releasing back down. We'll come into a locust pose, so interlacing the hands together, bringing them to um, our backs, and then reaching, drawing the chest up. Again, our neck is a natural extension of our spine. Our arms are drawing back, creating an opening through the, sh through the chest area. Just breathing here. If interlacing your hands together is a little bit much, you can just have your arms outstretched by your sides. And releasing back down. Let's finish with a wide-legged child's pose. Big toes together, knees out wide, arms out long. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can come into a puppy dog pose. So... Nice long breaths, feeling the release in our hips, our back, our shoulder area. And there you have it, in just a a short 9 or 10 minute session, you can get an all over body stretch, toning and hopefully feel much better for it. So I hope you enjoyed that session, hope to see you again soon. Namaste.